Hey everyone, welcome to Dr. Munglish channel. So in this video, I will be explaining you what exactly is specific dynamic action which is abbreviated as SDA. Now the specific dynamic action is also referred as thermic effect of food or dietary induced thermogenesis. So what exactly is this specific dynamic action? So this is a physiological phenomenon that represents energy expended on all activities of the body upon ingestion, digestion, absorption and assimilation of meal. So in order to understand the specific dynamic action uh, more in detail, we really need to understand what is the total energy expenditure of our body. Now the total energy expenditure of our body is mainly it is the sum of internal heat produced and external work that is done. So uh, to put it in simple way, uh, total energy expenditure equals to uh, internal energy, uh, internal heat that is produced, you, we have two components in that, it is the basal metabolic rate and specific dynamic action, these two are internal heat produced. And then the external work we can estimate that with the physical activity levels. So total energy expenditure it is a combination or it is a sum of BMR, STA and physical activity levels. So what is BMR? Basal metabolic rate it is the amount of energy that is spent to conduct a normal, basal, normal metabolic activities. So because we need some energy to do that. And then specific dynamic action, it is the amount of energy that is spent to digest the food, basically to swallow the food, to digest the food and then to absorb the food and then to transport it to different cells. So uh, in simple words, specific dynamic action is the cost of processing of food for use and uh, storage. Now, how much is the uh, amount of energy that is spent for specific dynamic action? It is estimated around 10 to 15 percent of daily calorie intake will go towards specific dynamic action. So, the amount of energy that is spent on di uh, specific dynamic action, it can vary depending on the type, size, temperature of the meal, body size, body composition and even composition of the food consumed. Because you can see here carbohydrate specific dynamic action it goes from 5 percent to 15 percent whereas for fat it is 5 to 15 percent whereas look at the protein uh, SDF for protein it is 20 to 30 percent. So uh, differences in the individual effort of pre-absorptive processes like uh, swallowing, gastric breakdown, intestinal uh, transport and then post absorptive processes like catabolism and synthesis events like this underlie much of the variation in uh, specific dynamic action. So specific dynamic action it is the integral part of an individual's energy budget. So the next time when you eat meal, so make sure to pay attention what might be the specific dynamic action of your food that you are consuming because that depends on the uh, type, the composition of the food that you are taking in and also that depends on the size of your body uh, and also that depends on the temperature of your meal. So, so many factors that will determine specific dynamic action, but roughly it is uh, calculated around 10 to 15 percent of uh, total uh, calories of uh, calorie intake. So that's about uh, specific uh, dynamic action. I hope this video uh, helped you in understanding this small little concept uh, in nutrition. So as SDA. So in my next video, I will go over uh, total energy expenditure a uh, little more on that. So thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed to my video, so consider subscribing to this video if you like the video. Um, give thumbs up and also if you have any question or comment put it put that in the comment section below. Uh, I see you in my next video till then you take care.